Hi Aquarius, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Uh, welcome to February's reading. Uh, just bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? Also, this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If you want a more personal reading, contact information is in my link down below. All right, let's get this party started. So uh, we've got number 14, Clan of the Wolf Heart for you. Going to go to the guidebook. Go into the guidebook. Clan of the Wolf Heart. You belong to the Clan of the Wolf Heart. This is a soul tribe with boundaries beyond bloodlines and geography. It is based on soul connection to love's wisdom and higher truths of the Great Spirit. The clan is united through wolf medicine and the heart. These are the qualities of the divine men of feminine that unify, allowing for a palpable experience of oneness that brings power to our collective wisdom and purpose. Clan of the Wolf Heart. Okay. So, past, present, and future energies. You have the Ace of Cups. The Empress for present and the Page of Pentacles for the future. So there's some new there's there's some new love coming in if it's not already here. And you're going to allow it to come in. You're not going to go out and like fight for it and claw for it and try and hang on to it. You're going to step into this Empress energy and allow these things to come in. But understanding with the Page of Pentacles that it's not necessarily going to be in a nice, neat little bow. You know? Like... All right, so looking at this Ace of Cups, looking at this particular card, like it's it's a giant fountain. You've got the angel at the top. You've got some cherubs in the middle of it. And the cup is actually formed by the water in the statue. All right, but it's it's peaceful. It's, it's something you can hang on to. Now, like with all aces, they have to actually be grasped and cultivated in order for them to actually come to fruition. However, comma, because you're here in this Empress energy. The Empress is the embodiment of creation, right? Like you see here, she's got the little one here, and then we've got the window with the sun shining through. The sun shining through, and if you get a little bit closer... There we go. You can see the stars over her head. Like she's. She knows that everything that she needs, she has or has the ability to create. And then here we are with the Page of Pentacles. And in this deck, the Page of Pentacles is depicted as the kindergarten teacher. With that, the Page of Pentacles knows that this is this is a messy job. You know, this is, it's going to be hard work, but it's going to be worth it. 
um, the Page of Pentacles knows that even though this work is in its preliminary stages, aces, right? Creation. The spark of creation with the Empress. And then the Page of Pentacles here. This is all early energy. This is not mature energy here at all. And even though she understands that her job is in the early stages, her job deals with the early stages of things. She understands the importance of what it is that she's doing. All right. So to clarify the Ace of Cups, we've got the Star card, Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Hmm. You're going to defend this new this new beginning and you're going to put it up out of reach you're going to get it up out of reach with the star card you're going to keep it away from prime hands you're going to keep it away from prying hands with the seven of wands and you're going to try your best to keep it out of other people's mouths, eight of, eight of wands. Because you're treating this just like you would a newborn. You know how like you, when a woman first has a baby, um, she, it's, it is suggested that the baby does not receive a bunch of visitors during the first six weeks of life right so this is really new and there's already defensive measures set up to protect it to give it a fighting chance right so the empress is clarified by the wheel of fortune the five of cups in the hierophant and it is not lost on me it is not lost on me that you've got five in five in this clarification because creation is change. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a 10, which is, again, two fives. Right? There's an, there's this newness. This newness here. This is new energy for you. And it's going to be a bit uncomfortable with this five of cups. You are going to feel a bit removed from what you're used to, but you're also taking this time and seeing it for the divine gift that it is because it's, it's taking you away from people to have a deeper connection with source, with spirit, so that you are able to create not only with greater accuracy, but also with greater purpose. And then the page of pentacles is clarified by the seven of swords, the hermit, in the Eight of Cups. So there's with the Seven of Swords, with the Seven of Swords here, I, I hear a lot of chatter, which again comes right back to this Page of Pentacles, particularly with the page of pentacles being depicted as the kindergarten teacher there are going to be lots of noise lots of chatter in a kindergarten classroom right but it's it's up to it's up to that teacher to be able to separate hermit card to separate in also 
direct the discussion in such a manner that it actually benefits the classroom, right? So in this case, it's about taking all of this chatter and kind of stealing away, Empress is stealing away so that you can hear what spirit has to say. It's steal away, right? With the eight of cups. It's again, it's that it's that energy of stepping back to a place that's a bit more quiet so that you can really be clear, so that you can really be clear on the messages that you are receiving, especially as it pertains to where you want to go and how you want to move forward. All right, so let's look at these final messages here. So we've got the Strength card, Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups. This path that you've chosen is not for the weak. You're going to need great inner strength to be able to move from where you are to where you are supposed to be with the Queen of Pentacles. All right. And while there's this air of nostalgia, the Six of Pentacles, on how things used to be and how you used to operate. Just know that this path is not a punishment. It is actually a gift. And it's a gift you were, you were that was chosen by you before you got here. Spirit is just helping you along the way by taking out those things that no longer serve you, that no longer are working towards your highest good. Okay, Aquarius. Thank you for spending a little time with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.